guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Savina Shea and today we are going to be unboxing this electric bike that we ordered off of Amazon. Um, so far, right off the bat, we are noticing that there is this piece that broke through and the piece, as of right now, does definitely look broken. So, I guess we'll have to see how that works out. I stopped recording for a minute because the adhesive on the cardboard was so strong that we actually couldn't get the thing apart for a minute. Okay, so we have figured out now after opening it that that damaged piece is connected to the tire. Let's see here if I can get it out. Oh, wow. This freaking tire is huge. Yeah. Okay. Well, funny enough. Oh, jeez. There you go. Oh, shit. Sorry. Funny enough, though, the other side is nice and round. <laughs> wow, this looks thing like looks keys. really heavy duty. Oh, we got keys. Let's see what else Boxing we have up. here. We have another broken piece of plastic. I don't know where this goes or if it's important. Well, There's the other half of it. Actually, it looks, oh, it looks like this is what broke off of this over here. And one more thing that we have in here is the accessory bag. Okay, we're going to unwrap some things here and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so we have got the tire in place here. We were having a little bit of a hard time because of that broken piece trying to get that off. But it turns out that that piece is not necessary to the bike, so we're good there, thankfully. Just I would hate... Messed the threads up. Yeah, but other than that, we should be good. So I don't think we need to return this. Honestly, I wouldn't want the hassle just because it's such a heavy item. But yeah, so now I'm just tightening the bolt down here on the wheel. And I still need to open up the accessory bag. So I had to have my dad help me finish tightening that down. He's a strong man. <laughs> and now I just need to open up this accessory box as well and see what we have in here. There's a wrench in here. <laughs> Probably should have opened this up first. <laughs> okay, so so you don't go running around looking for your own tools. There are tools <laughs> inside that come with it to help put it together. But, you know, thankfully I had the right things that I needed in order to put that together. Uh, we have the pedals in here. Micah, if you would be so kind. Got our reflectors. This little thing that I don't know what it's for yet, and this little guy too. Probably need to read instructions. Let's see, in this little box we have... This is gonna be like the console. It's gonna have the speeds, uh, modes, and like other information in here. Flipped over the bike, and we got the pedals on. And now we're working on getting the handlebars on. Just trying to pull out this wrench. So you take this piece right here, and this piece is gonna go right here. But I need to loosen the bolts first. Just so we're all on the same page, the instructions did say loosen, but you definitely needed to take the bolts off. I don't know why it said loosen. But anyway, I did end up taking them off in order to attach that piece. What I found easiest at this point, after I had taken the bolts out, was to just stick them back into the slots in that piece rather than trying to put the piece on the bike and then sticking them in. 
it was just simpler this way and allowed me to line everything up a little bit better. Also, because that back bolt has to go in between those two pieces, you see how like it makes a triangle shape? It was like really awkward trying to stick my hand and stick that bolt in the middle there when it was already laid up against the bike. Then of course, after you have everything lined up and you tighten them down a little bit with your hand, you just go in with the wrench and finish tightening them down. Now we're gonna loosen this part right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start giving you guys specs on the bike. First of all, it's got three modes, throttle, pedal assist, and walk assist mode. Average range is gonna be about 20 miles depending on your size. Okay, so we need to set these handlebars in here. Once you have your handlebars situated, you just slide that piece back over the top there and screw it down. The bike can get up to a speed of about 20 to 25 miles per hour as well. As for the bike being waterproof, yes and no. <laughs> uh, you could ride it in moderate or light rain, but you have to make sure it's totally dry the next time you take it out or it will cut off randomly. It's got like kind of like a safety self-protection program built into it. Need to unscrew these little screws that are here on this side. And they give you this little wrench for that. So it'll cut off the power if it feels like there's a short, but water will definitely eventually damage it on the inside if you leave it. If you were to lose your keys, they can't just give you replacements, they give you a whole new lock. Okay, so it's got a couple little things here. It's got this little remote here attached to it. also has this little green cord. I do see where this green cord plugs in right here. I don't know if they can see that. Um, once you've removed the screws, this display thing just kind of opens up right here, and then you can clasp it on. It does have an 18 month limited warranty, and it tells you in the instruction manual what that is limited to, like what the exceptions are, like if you just leave your bike in the rain and let it soak, that's not covered. <laughs> Alright, so we connected it right here to this. It's got two little arrows so that you don't have to guess and try to line it up you know exactly how to plug that in we clamp the display right here and then I'm just uh, screwing these in right now and then we have another little uh, thing this is the control for the display the last thing I did before putting it on the charger was to add the reflectors they don't mention where they're supposed to go in the instructions in case you forget you know because maybe you're not building bikes every day or looking at them <laughs> um, the red one goes on the back there underneath the seat and the white one goes on the front the bike is put together totally and it really was not difficult to put it together I mean the instructions are not the best but most of the stuff was pretty easy to figure out. Like for example, this reflector, there wasn't anything in the instructions about where to put it, but there was a screw hole right here and a screw, so that's how we figured that out. That's where that went. And in case you guys didn't get a good look here, this little screen, it plugged into here. We mounted it onto here. Um, bike is fully charged now, and this is where the key is. So you want to turn it to this position right here whenever you need to charge it and then in this position right here whenever you want to start it. You hold this button down for about three seconds I think it is, there we go. And that turns that on there and uh, you just do like the up and downs for like what setting you want to use it on. Use the throttle to make it go faster. Here's your gear shifter bell. Thought that was cute. <laughs> um, yeah, there really wasn't much to it. Thankfully, everything is pretty much put together for you. Pedals were put on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But the bike is really cool. Also, you have to make sure to put air in the tires right away because this one did not have any air at all in the tires. And you can't tell because these tires are th so thick. So just make sure you do that, and the amount is 30 PSI. That's what you need to fill it up to. And what I meant by putting it in the unlock position, you know, you push the key in and you put it in that unlock position, is that that way you could take this whole power cell off. 
to charge it separate from the bike and it slides oh sorry and it slides back in in those little pegs right there and then actually over here the little charging port is right here that's where you plug in the charger just yeah there it is I just wanted to show you guys also that the bike is very big so like putting the tape measure to the ground it's over three feet to the seat so if you're a smaller person this bike is really not gonna work for you this measurement here is from the ground to the handlebars I also failed to mention previously that the seat is in the lowest position my dad, who's six feet tall, even has a little bit of a time getting up on this bike. So I just want to forewarn people that it is very big. It's not really meant for someone of smaller size like me. Would have liked to have shown you guys a clip of me on the bike, but like I said, it was too big for me. <laughs> but here's a clip of my dad on it. He wouldn't let me film him from afar, so this is the best I could do. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions about the bike, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time.